Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Hello Baby, episode 7 and 8. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur out 50% of each episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it is available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who also are interested in my early access to all my content and receiving all this stuff without any sort of blur and censorship, it is available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Isn't this the latest craze? He definitely needs this. Uh, no. Think he likes this? It's too early for him to be playing that. Uh, I'll take over. You just watch, Leon, and behave. Uh, ah, Mama got angry. Uh, I feel like I'm out with two sons. Uh, he's way too carefree. Is he even taking this seriously? Anyway, let's get this done and be over with. Let's see. Ah, this one... But don't. Here, call me if you need help. After all, you're a tiny person. <laughs> need, need help with anything else? Anything you want to purchase? N nothing in particular. We don't need to buy a lot anyway. We still need to be able to carry all of it. I'm amazed that you're thinking about those things. It's called common sense. Jeez. <laughs> The bag, please. He must be hungry. Ah, oh, right. Here. She really is. Amazing. Hello, baby. Episode 7. Uh. How much? It's, sir. I guess he's just bound to draw attention wherever he goes. These women behind us keep staring. I'm sure they're gossiping about why someone like me is together with someone like him. Let's go. I can't help but wonder what other people think of our relationship when they look at us from afar. It's gone pretty late, huh? Mind your step? Yes, yes. I can help you help carry some more if you want. It's all right. We're nearby anyway. He's walking with me side by side, pacing himself to me. Even though I'm sure he's ready to get home with all that stuff he's carrying. Watch out. Huh? Uh. Is Leon all right? He should mind the road better. You okay? You startled me. <laughs> Stop overreacting. I'm on the safe side of the road. <laughs> you can never be too careful these days. Look who's talking. What a klutz. Oh my, good evening. What a cute child. Good evening. You're the new family who recently moved in, right? It's nice to finally meet you. <laughs> family is a bit. That's right, ma'am. We hope to see you more. Ah. Uh -huh. We hope to see you around soon, too. Take care. Family, huh? Is that really what other people see when they look at us? Oh, I've taken care of everything. See you tomorrow. Do you need help setting anything up? No, oh, I'm fine. Aren't you going home soon? It's getting late. Still cold as ever. Technically, this is my home, too. Just kidding. I'll leave in a just a bit. Why don't you just go wash up? I'm sure you need it after carrying all this by yourself. Uh. <laughs> I'll take you up on that offer. I'm just going to look at you guys every time I see this. They called us a family. Yeah. You're hungry again? Wait here. I'll go make something for you, okay? 
Something wrong? Oh. Oh. I heard him crying. Oh, sorry. I forgot to take a, a change of clothes with me to, to the washroom. Don't mind me. Learn how to knock. So, what's going on? J j just please go ahead and get dressed already. Oh, but you've seen this all before. Shut up. <laughs> He's eating a lot, isn't he? You need to eat more, too. I've said it before, but you're way too light. Hmm. Did I go too far earlier? I I already apologized about earlier. Yeah, yeah. Aw Aki? Oh my gosh. Awkward. Tomorrow I got an important meeting with a client. What about you? What are your plans for tomorrow? I have plans to meet with my best friend. Your best friend? You mean the one with the with you on the cruise ship? When can I meet her? Never! And if you could please refrain from mentioning that cruise again. You got it. You know, I was really lost and depressed at that time. I thought that instead of wasting the ticket, I would just bring my friend with me. Then he told me something really cheesy. He told me that I should try finding my special someone on that ship. I was just dumped, so at first I thought it was really absurd notion. But then I saw you. You were trying your best to talk to new people. Even though I could tell you were uncomfortable. I'm curious. Why are you trying so trying so hard to understand me? Is it because of Leon? No. Don't you hate me? No. Even though I left you at as a one as a one night stand? No. I'm sure you have your reason. And that is exactly what I want to understand. Make me understand. I thought we clicked. I looked for you everywhere, you know? Really? Ring, ring, ring. It's Gareth. My ride's here already. Uh. Saying goodbye? I'll visit again soon. What am I doing? I need to keep it together. I'll be going then. About that thing earlier? Let's discuss it in another time. For now, thank you for giving me this opportunity to see and visit Leon as well. I'll see you too soon. Tut. I can't back down now just because he's trying to be a little nice. Hello, Carol? Sorry for calling so late. Let's meet up at the law firm you mentioned tomorrow. Because our reality is complicated. I'm off. I'll head home as soon as possible. Enjoy, dear. I will take care of Leon. Don't worry. Oh? Miss Gwen went out to meet her friend. I know. I just realized I don't have her contact info, info, but then again, I guess I never gave her mine either. The law firm was the one who ended up getting in talk contact with her, huh? Is it weird if I ask her about it suddenly? No, it's necessary due to our agreement, right? Listen! Ow! I hate work. Hello, baby. Episode 8. Carol! <laughs> Girlie, I missed you! I missed you too! Huh? What do you mean I can't visit the house you're staying in? Well, he sent someone to look after me and Leon. I see. He's cunning, that sly man. He definitely planned this to work against you. Well, Nana does take good care of Leon. And actually, I learned a lot from her, even in a short amount of time. And our <clears throat> Mr. Morante really seems to be doing his best for us. What happened to your fighting spirit? Don't be seduced by these things. 
They're just doing this to make you put your guard down. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Promise me that you'll fight for Leon, okay? I will also do my best. I've been with you both since the beginning. I'll never be able to face Uncle if something were to happen to you too. Carol, thank you. Let's go. It's almost time to meet our saviors. Yeah. Are, are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, I don't think I ha I'll have the money to hire someone from a place like this. LNG Law Office. I'm positive this is the address he gave me. Probably anyway. Huh? Please, wait here for a moment. I can't take this. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. I'm getting nervous. Must be the coffee. Come back quickly. Oh, a high-class law firm. Even the clients look posh. Carol, I really don't think we're in the right tax bracket to afford these people. I guess I'll wait for our turn. Wait a minute. Whoa. Isn't that... Uh, are you alright? Uh, sorry about that, and thank you. I can, I can help you carry these. Really? My office is nearby. She is at her baby daddy's work. Are you a client here alone? Y yes, I was actually waiting for my friend. <laughs> Welcome to my office. Please go ahead inside. No, I'll just leave things here. Take care. W wait, at least your name? RA-11313 Safe Spaces Act For acts accompanied by touching, pinching, or brushing against the body of the offended person, the first offense shall be 11 to 30 days of imprisonment, or a P-30,000 fine with a gender sensitivity seminar, approximately 550. Or do you mean to tell me this isn't your first offense, Gail? What do you mean by that? Are you alright? Gwen? Lance? Welcome. Welcome to LNG Law Firm. I'm Gail Halt, country of origin England. And this is my business partner, Lance Tana Tanaka. By the way, what happened to you? Dress properly. Also your face. I had to pull an all-nighter again. Sorry about that. Oh, we don't mind. Plus, we're already acquainted with Lance. Right, Gwen? <laughs> right. So, pray tell. What brings you to in today for my beautiful Miss Gwen? Okay, so it's not her baby daddy's work. For a second, I thought it was like her baby daddy's place. Hello, police officer? I'm just kidding! Back on the topic at hand. Care to explain our current situation? Y yes That is all. This is unacceptable. We should definitely file for a petition. Right, Lance? Hmm. So his own legal team includes that old man. My mentor, huh? Dude, I think he's angry at something else. Do you think it's possible for me to win? I mean, do you think it's possible for, for me to win? Are we really going to be okay handing over Leon's fate to him? You have nothing to worry about. We're among the top law firms in the country right now. And even though we just recently opened, our Lance here is among the best rookies. He's even scored top one in the bar exam. Stop overpraising me. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> He's cool, right? But I'm way cooler. And that concludes today's discussion. And just for you, Miss Gwen, my own private contact info. Can you stop being a creep even just for a second? How about I give you my private info too? Sure. Are you free after this? Hmm? I am, but I also need to go back home soon. I promise it won't take long. Sorry about Gail, but he really is a great attorney and business partner. Warn Carol not to take him seriously. 
Sorry about that too, I guess. It was me who asked Carol to keep it from you. It's no big deal. I'm sure this is a sensitive topic, but why did you even agree to that guy's term? It sounds to me like he's only doing this for everything to be in his favor. Right? That guy, always demanding things without second thought, always asking for the impossible. I told him I was more than fine raising Leon on my own. I don't get why he's doing any of this when it was, would have been easier for him and us if he just stayed out of our lives. With his status and all, I mean, why now? A one-night stand resulting to a difficult situation, huh? But it's a bit weird, you know? Although sometimes he was some redeemable moments. He looked a little happy talking about that guy just now. Well, I'm at fault too. It would have been a one-night stand if I didn't make it one. Plus, I keep agreeing to things so easily. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to bore you with my ramblings. Not at all. You know, even though I was surprised that it was you who handled my case, I'm relieved it's with someone I can trust. Uh, really? Mr. Halt agreed to expanding his firm throughout the country. Yes. Oh, right now? The only leaves me with two options. Career advancement or staying with the person I like. Coming from a poor family, I couldn't help but think it was my lucky break. I'm sorry, Gwen. I should have ditched you in the middle of the, our date. What are you talking about? I'm proud of you. You always dreamed of having your own law firm, right? There's no use worrying about the past anyways. What's done is done. You're right. Oh, sorry to cut our time short, but I really need to get back to Leon. Please feel free to contact me for anything. Got it. See you. The past, huh? Then what about now? Maybe. Just maybe. Gwen. To be continued. Third, oh gosh, there's gonna be a love triangle. This is gonna be fun. Every webtoons with romance in it always have a love triangle. Like, nice. But all right, I mean, who is this guy? I guess they're like past lovers or something. Mm, all right. That, uh, not, not a lot of thoughts from me <laughs> for this part. But alright guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all felt about this two episodes. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!